What's up guys, Priyanshu here from Max Tricks. In this video, I'll be showing you that how you can install any custom ROM using the AOSP recovery on your POCO X4 Pro 5G or the Redmi Note 11 Pro Plus 5G uh, Indian variant. So before we get started in the video, make sure to unlock the bootloader of your phone because without unlocking the bootloader, it's not possible to flash any custom room or custom recovery so there are a lot of videos available in youtube regarding that so make sure to watch it before watching my video so let's get started so guys after you have unlocked the bootloader of your pogo x4 pro 5g what you need to do let me tell you first power of your device okay so after your power of your device you need to press the volume down button and the power off button at the same time so as to bring the phone into the fast boot mode so let me just uh, press the buttons at the same time So as you can see the Poco logo appears first and it takes some seconds to get it in the fast boot mode So let's wait. So as you can see the phone has finally Got in the flash uh, into the fast boot modes. So now what what we need to do just connect this phone with the PC Because we are gonna flash the recovery through the PC. So let's get onto the PC and check it out. So guys, after you have brought your phone into the fast boot mode and connected it to your PC, what you need to do, you need to download these four files. The boot image, the vendor boot image, the platform tools and the ADB. So I'll be giving the link in the description. So make sure to check it out so as to continue the recovery and the flashing procedure. So firstly, you need to click on the ADB file and you need to open this adv setup so let me just open it okay let me just give the access to the adv setup now as you can see you need to press y again y and the drivers have started to install you need to click on next so the driver has installed successfully now what you need to do you need to open the platform tools folder so let me just open it you need to open the platform tools folder and in the path you need to write cmd so yeah and press enter so as you can see the windows command prompt has finally opened now you need to type some commands so firstly you need to write fast boot devices so let me just write it fast boot devices okay so yeah so as you have connected your phone with your PC, you can see the serial number of your phone and it's showing that it has been connected with your phone. So now what you need to do, you need to type another command. I will also mention all the commands in the description so you don't have any, uh, you don't be having any problem regarding the commands. So yeah, what you need to do, you need to flash the boot image first. So firstly you have to uh, uh, run a command. So let me just run a command. Uh, flash boot is uh, a fast boot flash boot then you need to uh, keep a space and drag the boot image so this is the uh, this is uh, these are the flashing instructions you need to follow this so as to flash the boot image you need to drag the boot image into the directory so into the command prompt so click on the command prompt and click enter so as you can see the boot image is being sent so it has been finished finally and now what you need to do you need to flash the vendor boot image so you need to write the command fast boot flash vendor sorry vendor underscore boot then again you need to keep a space and drag the vendor boot image file these are the flashing instructions vendor boot image file into this command prompt so let me just drag it okay so now you need to press enter and finally uh, as you can see the vendor boot image has been flashed into your phone now you need to write the final command which is fast boot reboot recovery so press enter now so guys after pressing enter you can see that the phone has started to boot up first it's showing the poco logo and now it has finally booted into the pixel experience recovery or the aosp recovery so let's get onto the phone and check the recovery out 
so guys we have successfully flashed the custom recovery the aosp recovery on our phone so let me tell you that i'm gonna flash the cr droid custom room by using this recovery so let me tell you how this this works so click on apply update and you will find two options apply from adb and apply from sd card so i have stored the cr droid file on my sd card you can also flash uh, files from a uh, usb otg but right now i haven't connected any otg so i'm gonna use the sd card but there is a drawback that you cannot flash files from your internal storage so yeah so i have stored it in my document uh, downloads folder i guess so let me just uh, click it yeah so as you can see there is the cr droid uh, file so let me just click on the power button to flash it okay so let me just click on the power button so as you can see the procedure for installation has started so it it will take about three to four minutes for this installation so let's wait a few minutes later so guys the rom installation process has finally completed so right now as this is a vanilla build i need to flash the g app score so as to get access to the google app so firstly i need to do a factory reset so as to flash the g app score properly so let me just click on factory reset format data and as you can see the data is formatting and now i need to reboot my system so as to uh, flash the g app score file without any problem and let me tell you that i have uh, rebooted the phone into the recovery so as you can see firstly the poco logo will appear and then you can see the aosp recovery so wait for some seconds so guys our phone has finally booted up into the aosp recovery and this time as you can see the logo has been changed because i have flashed the cr droid and you can clearly see the cr droid logo in the middle so let me just flash the uh, g app score now let me tell you that you don't need to flash the g app score if your uh, custom room is a g apps build my custom room is the vanilla build so i am flashing it so let me just flash the g app score make sure to check when you are flashing a custom room whether it's a g apps build or a vanilla build so let me just select the g apps score file and click on it so this is a really simple recovery i would say because it doesn't comes with that kind uh, that kind of mess like clear delvic cache wipe cache mount partitions so it's a really easy recovery to take care of but it has some cons as you know that the touch doesn't works properly and it doesn't suppose internal storage flash so i have finally uh, flashed the g app score and let me just do a, for, a factory reset again and reboot the system so guys as we are installing this custom room for the first time this device will take 20 to 25 seconds for its first boot because you know we are uh, installing a new custom room so yeah it's definitely gonna, gonna take some time but you don't need to worry about that it will definitely show the custom uh, room logo because we have applied every steps very carefully so it's the poco logo first you know and let's wait for some time to show the cr droid logo so as you can see the boot animation has finally shown up into our device and we have successfully installed the cr droid on our phone so as you can see the cr droid logo appears so if you enjoyed this video make sure to subscribe our channel like this video and share it with your friends and comment me down that whether you want to see another video on different custom rooms reviews and features so goodbye and take care